What is up guys, Ozzy Gaming here, and today I have a video for you guys on how to raise your KD. Now, I myself personally do not have a super high KD, but it's positive, I mean, by quite a bit, kinda. But that's just because, in the beginning of this game, I switched from a PS3 to an Xbox, and that really threw me off. And I was just running around with a knife, being that douchebag, yes, that pisses people off. So my plan of attack here is to first tell you guys how to get a high KD, and second, what classes that I recommend for getting a high KD. Now these are my opinions, and so don't like hate on me if, like, ooh, that gun sucks, but these are my opinions, so if you don't like it, you can, you can change some stuff up, but this is just what I recommend uh, with my experience. Now, what you want to do to earn a high KD is uh, stick to like the outskirts of the map, you don't want to run straight through the middle, like, and you definitely do not want to run out, like, in the open. You want to kind of stay in, I don't want to say camp, but you kind of have to camp. Like, let's be honest, if you want to get up to a 2.0, or even a 5.0, or whatever your goal is, you, you just got to play smart, you can't run out, got to stay in the back, kind of like I am here, I was kind of just like, sitting around in that corner, because I knew people could pop out or we're going to be popping out because they're gonna go for the bomb and look at that I went on a six kill streak just sitting right there and you just you just wanna stay to the sides of the maps like notice I don't run straight out because that's not what you wanna do and this gameplay doesn't really I don't know it doesn't really serve any purpose of what I'm trying to talk about except that one part right there but it's it's good gameplay. I'll just talk about this quick. It's just me playing some search and rescue. I pretty much wrecked all these kids. <laughs> now this is kind of confusing. My chopper gets the game winning kill with four people left. I guess it just killed all four of them with one bomb. Um, just clarifying that because it's kind of confusing. A little odd kill cam. Yeah, I just killed all four of them. So that was pretty cool. But that's besides the fact. Anyway. So you want to stick to the outskirts of the map, you want to run silenced weapons. I know it decreases range and damage, which kind of annoys me, but it's what you gotta do. Otherwise people will see you on the radar and, I mean, they'll, they'll come for you. I mean, they're gonna come for you anyway, but more people will come for you if you don't have a silenced weapon. And you just want to be off the radar so somebody can, like, hunt you down. And another thing you want to do is play smart. I've kind of briefly touched on this, but if you see, like in Search and Rescue, some tags in the middle of the map, you do not want to run out and be the hero and try to grab all the tags, because chances are somebody is camping them, and chances are you should camp them too, because somebody is going to get them eventually, whether it be your teammate or the other teammates, because that's kind of the goal of the game. And these guys are, I don't know what they're, horrible knife. There's just like three guys sitting there with right shields. Anyway, the third thing you want to do is choose a game mode you're good at. I choose Surge and Rescue because I can drop around 20 kills. And usually I can drop 15, 12 a match. And only die like once or twice. And that's, that's pretty good. Other than that, I'll play Domination. That's what I recommend if you don't like Surge and Rescue. But... I just like search and rescue because it makes you more conscious about your deaths. And that's just why I play it. But if you... <laughs> Never, I was just laughing at that. If you do play Domination, though, which I would recommend, you want to stay on the outskirts, like I said, and just don't be stupid. And you want to run kill streaks that you know you can get. Like right here, I'm running Sentry Gun, Battlehind, and Maniac because I know I can get them on a regularly basis. You can't get them regularly you should not <laughs> go for those kill streaks now those are my tips let me just go over them real quick to make sure you guys get it just play smart stick the outskirts of the maps camp but kind of don't camp you know just sit where you know people will come that's the most important thing 
and play your play the game modes you're good at and use the kill streaks you know you can get. And I guarantee you'll get a high KD. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.